Hello guys, my name is Eldis and in today's video I really want to go over an important topic that I think everybody in their 20s right now should consider. So the reason why I'm sharing this guys is because I want to document my progress as an entrepreneur and uh, you know, sir, uh, going after that ultra ultra wealthy status uh, of hitting $30 million in total assets. That is my goal. Not doesn't have to be your goal, but it is just my goal. Okay, guys. So I just really want to be wealthy and financially free. That's my goal. Anyways, so the reason why I'm sharing this, guys, is because um, a lot of us in our 20s get caught up with what our friends think of us, what your my, our friends are doing with their life and everything. And if you are... Um, you know, saving money. If you're not like doing and you're not buying a lot, you're seeing your friends uh, spend a ton of money on brand new things, brand new cars, etc. You can get caught up in that and try to compete with them, which is not the right way to go about it. So the belief that I have is because everybody has a different lifestyle goals, etc. My belief is my 20s is to work and accumulate as much wealth and skill as I can so that in my 30s, I can actually exploit those skills that I learned and I can make 10 times more money. So most of the money that I spend is one on living expenses that is un un unavoidable. And the other one is on, on learning and, and investing on my skills. I don't invest any money in the stock market. I might, it, might, it might be risky for me to not do that right now, especially with the opportunities. But I believe, I truly believe in myself and I believe that I will be reach that point where I'm financially free and I will have way more money to invest in the stock market because I'm so skilled. Uh, I have high income skills that will pay me way more than the return that I will get from the market. It's not a new uh, mindset. It's just I just want to share it because it's something that I think thought about before. So you might be able to take something out of this. I don't recommend that if you have a lot of debt and financial responsibilities and people depend on you, I don't recommend you do that unless you truly believe you can achieve that. All right. So anyways, um, the reason why I took a $20,000 pay cut pay per year right before a recession with a baby and a stay at home mom. All right, stay at home mom is my fiance. So anyways, so here's the thing. The premise of this video is you have to choose skills over money in your 20s. All right, skills and experience. So anyways, so I was working at a very comfortable job. It was pretty good. Not saying that it was a bad job. It was just uh, comfortable, not challenging. Uh, the skills that I wanted to learn, I would not learn at that job. And while I was getting paid about $70,000, $75,000 a year on average, and I could control my hours, I could do all the overtime that I wanted, I could do all the hours that I wanted if I wanted to get paid more, it was not worth the risk of not learning skills. Okay, guys? So before I keep going, there are three skills that I think are essential for any career, regardless whether you are... Uh, an entrepreneur, you want to start like a just a side hustle, or if you want to like uh, accumulate a lot of wealth because you want to choose a career. So the one is advertising. The other one is content creation. And the third one is um, sales. And this all, obviously, you want to, to choose one industry that you want to get become an expert in. That way you can actually solve problems. Okay, guys, at the end of the day, entrepreneurship is about solving problems with a, you know, a product service that you can only get there, though, if you learn how to sell, advertise, and also, uh, you know, now in social media days, creating content. Okay. Now you can outsource these things, but in the beginning, the very beginning, when you're, when you're bootstrapping your company, which is where I'm at right now, I truly believe that you don't have the capital to spend money on a sales team, on advertising, paid advertisement, uh, or buy or hiring a media buyer or something like that. So you have to learn the skills yourself so that then you can, you know, generate enough money so that you can build that team. So 
the top skill, guys, is sales. Why? Because it's ca uh, customer acquisition. Sales um, is the best skill that you can learn. And if you're not wanting to be an entrepreneur, becoming a salesperson is the highest earning career with more control over your time and effort. Uh, you guys don't want to be choosing. You... Here's another reason why you got to go to sales or choose skills over uh, comfort. In a recession time, guys, there's two people that are getting laid off. One, the people that are have the highest overhead and don't produce enough. The people that are not that are low performance. It doesn't matter what per, what job you are. The people that are least getting fired are salespeople. The people that generate income. The people that bring in customers. The people that bring in money. They don't get. They don't get fired because. They are the income producers, guys, okay? They are the most important people in the company, okay? So those are the people that you, that, that's the type of job that you want to seek because it, it, it is recession-proof. It is about your performance. And then it's all about uh, the effort that you put in, okay, guys? So the reason I, I decided to, do, to, to move out of that job while it was comfort, it was providing a great lifestyle for my family. And also it was, you know, I was on the path on of saving a shit, a lot of money. I was also on the path of buying my first house. I could have bought a better car. I could have bought a bunch of clothes. I could have done a lot of things. I was financially good. Uh, although it did help me uh, save enough money to make this decision, but I'll explain to you guys the next steps. Okay. So why? So, guys, a disclaimer, don't do this if you don't feel like you want to be an entrepreneur or if you feel comfortable with being competitive, not, not making money if you don't perform well and sucking at a skill, guys, okay? Because you're going to suck at first. I suck at sales. I just got into sales. I don't want to mention the industry or the job that I'm at just because for privacy reasons, but I got into sales because I wanted to learn this skill and also because I want to be in a position where... I can control the income that I generate. There's nothing better than that. If you cannot, if you don't dictate what income you generate, just because you don't, you 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 your job title is not like it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't matter how much you produce. It's just a set uh, salary, or if you're getting paid hourly, it's just not worth it, in my opinion. Okay, guys. So, and if you don't feel like you have the financial, uh. If you if you have the financial stability, you don't have if you have a lot of debt and you don't make enough money and you have your your you know you you don't know how to spend money properly, then you gotta get that figured out first. Okay. So, anyways, so in order to make this decision, guys, you have to be in. Uh, well, this is what I've done. Okay. So when I was about to make this decision, I had five things in in mind. One my mindset. My mindset is I feel confident that I will make it out. It will be a struggle. And, uh, but I know that if I put in enough work, I will make it and I'll prevail. Okay guys. So you have to have that mindset. You got to be confident. If you don't think that you can prevail, you're done. Don't do this. Do this after you feel comfortable doing it. Number three, number two, the financial shit, financial situation. I have no debt and I have a, a good, like I have more than six months worth of income uh, saved on my bank account in case I get fired or I don't make enough money. I have to pull from it. So I have financial backup. Skills, guys. The skills, I've, I've, I've been able to learn uh, videography, advertising, and a little bit of content creation over time. So I have certain skills that if shit hit the fan... I can go hustle it out, keep learning more, become an expert, and start getting hired for him. Okay, guys? The third, the fourth is a clear path, guys. You have to know that for sure, when you take this, make this decision, every month you're making progress and, and you have a set plan of where you're going. If you don't know, you cannot see at the end of the uh, at the light at the end of the tunnel. Don't make this decision, guys. Plan everything out first. Don't make reckless decisions. In my opinion, it's not the way to go, especially if you have people that depend on your income. The fifth one is ego. What is ego? A lot of people that go to college, get a degree, or work in a higher 
uh, let's say you go work at an office job, a lot of those people don't don't want to take the ego hit and work for a shitty job or a blue collar job or a tough, dirty uh, job where you get dirty and it's not that it's not glamorous anymore. Okay, guys, I'm not I don't care about that. If I get fired from my current job or if I don't make enough money, if I don't perform properly to support my living expenses, I will take whatever job I can to make the money that I need to make. And I'll work the hours that I can't, that I have to make, that I have to work in order to make it. I don't have an ego when it comes to making money. In my mind, in my opinion, those people that go get professional jobs and they feel overqualified for certain jobs, those people are broke and they're unemployed right now because they cannot take the ego hit and you know downgrade job careers so that they can still survive at least. You have to provide some type of living. Don't take unemployment if you don't have to. Unemployment is should be your last resort if have you absolutely try to make any money you can. But right nowadays, guys, there's no excuse. There's DoorDash, there's Uber Eats. If you have a car, if you have the internet, you should be make be able to make some sort of money. And also, the other thing is there are jobs out there that are hiring. They're desperate to hire. They're paying bonus money. They're paying money to people for people to come in and work. It's not just, oh, I'll give you a job at this, at this wage. They're giving you $500, $1,500 just for you to actually get hired in. Okay, so there's no excuses to not make money nowadays, guys. Okay, so I chose to get my skills up. Sales is the best skill that you need to learn in your young years. Now, if you're in your 20s and you have no overhead, no reason to uh, to make a lot of money, you don't have people that depend on you, you should be able to take a risk and learn skills. Invest all your money on learning new skills that are high income skills. Copywriting, sales, advertising, um, design, software engineering, all those things, guys. Get Pick one skill and learn it. In my opinion, there's nothing better than sales because if you be, you're the best salesperson, any product, you will be able to sell. That's the best skill. And it's also the best skill because it transfers over all areas of life. You have to influence a new uh, a, a, a talent to be, be higher in your company sales skills, persuasive, uh, persuasion skills are what being used to get them to believe in your mission uh, when you don't have enough money to support those type of salaries. Um, so focus on your skills. What I'm doing is I'm focusing on learning as many skills as possible. I'm paying for courses and all that stuff so that when I finish, when I'm in my 30s, I will be so skilled at many things that I can just make money. You will never be broke if you learn high income skills and you have a hustler's mindset. So if you're willing to work and you learn high income skills, you'll be good. And you don't have to be the best salesperson in the world. You don't have to be the best salesperson in your city. You just have to become top 20% of, you know, get really good that you can acquire customers profitably. That's how you make money. The other one is long-term versus short-term vision. If you guys are getting caught up in what your friends are doing, that's wrong. Guys, listen, I have friends that are spending money and good for them. That's not something that you can judge them on. That's their life and that's what they chose to do. It's not wrong to do that if you're in your 20s. But if you want to uh, become a like an entrepreneur, you're looking for, for high income in your later years and guaranteed, I guarantee you that if you learn these skills, you will make money for the rest of your life. You will never go without money, guys, okay? So... Learning sales, so long-term versus vision, uh, short-term vision and satisfaction. So a lot of people just want to make money fast and make it right now, and they don't want, they're, they're not willing to sacrifice income just to learn skills. Um, so if you're one of those people that just want to focus on getting the best car, the best house, and everything right now, the jewelry, everything, good for you. You're enjoying your 20s. Go for it. Enjoy your life. My opinion: If you want to be successful in your later years, I, everybody that I've seen, they sacrificed short-term uh, income for long-term career success, X and which equals more income.
Okay, guys. Um, also, you got to pick the right industry. Don't pick an industry that doesn't uh, have a long-lasting uh, history. Um, don't pick a, 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 a hist- an industry that has a, le- a high failure likelihood. Uh, you know, so high high risk industries. I mean, I truly believe if you become an expert in an industry, you will be able to make money regardless because you'll be able to solve problems for people that will generate money. But there are some industries that are better than others, guys. In my opinion, financial services is the best one for your money, for wealth. Number two is um, health. Uh, that's a trillion dollar industry. And number three is some sort of relationships industry. Those are the best ones that will never go away. And people will always have money problems. People will always have health problems. People will always have relationship problems. Okay. So also focus on more long-term opportunities, get uh, jobs or uh, connect with people that can in the long term connect you with high people that you might be able to be successful with. Um, so join clubs that have people from all areas of life, people that can be wealthy, uh, make relationships with them. You can do jujitsu, you can do uh, golf, you can do, uh, I don't know, tennis, anything that can be high income like that, you know, that, that, that has a barrier of entry to get in, like a lot of money, cost money, you have to know the right person, etc. Those are the best places to be at. Go to the gym, join jujitsu martial arts. Join, jiu-jitsu is the most uh, glamorous martial art, uh, like wealthy people tend to do jiu-jitsu more than any other martial art. So jiu-jitsu, um, tennis, golf, all those places, you'll be able to meet people that will benefit you in the long term. Why did I choose this career, guys? Another reason, control over your income. The job that I was working at, it was great, comfortable and whatnot, but even if I work harder, even though I, I was able to get bonuses from the profit, it was not based on my my only my performance. In sales, guys, you are responsible for your own performance. If you have a hustle mentality, if you're out here hunting people down, you can get and you can actually generate more money by working harder and performing. The better and, and the more you do it, the better you get, the easier it is, the more you can work, the more money you can make, guys. Okay? You can literally be your own make as as much as a business owner by just doing sales and you don't have to do any of the legal legality issues guys so that's what i'm doing i'm doing sales because of that it's you control your income and you can work as hard as you can no income gap guys no income gap that's what you want to strive for go for if you don't want to be an entrepreneur go for a career that has no income gap uh cap i mean sorry because why would you be limited to a salary? What that happens is you don't want to work anymore. You know, you don't feel motivated because all you do is go to the office, do this and that, and you still get paid the same. You don't want that, guys, okay? And become indispensable. The great thing about sales, guys, if you become really good at sales, you will become indispensable. So they cannot just fire you because if you're producing income, no matter what, you are indispensable. Obviously, you cannot be unethical. You cannot be, uh, you know, a shit bag or something like that. Obviously, you got to be res- responsible and do your job right. But if you make a lot of money, you are on the indispensable. If the company starts going like they need to reduce labor because, you know, it's a recession, you are not going to be the one being fired. The person that's going to be fired is going to be the people that don't generate income. Or at least they might help with the income, but they're not generating, which is important. Okay, guys, you have to have a backup plan. Don't have any debt. Pay off all your debt. Don't get into debt. If you're in your 20s, there's no reason for you to have any debt besides college debt, which if you make the decision to go to college, good for you. I don't recommend it unless you go to nursing, uh, unless you go to healthcare or you go to like law, something that really requires like your, you know, an actual degree. But if you just want to be an, if you want to make money, you want to be in business, don't go to college, guys. It's worthless. Now, there are advertising careers that can get you a job at an office, blah, 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 blah. In my opinion, not worth it. You can learn it all yourself and prove yourself that you're great and then get hired. Because people don't, uh, jobs don't care about your college degree, guys. Um, the truth is, nowadays, if you can prove that you can perform, that's what matters. Have a support system. What does that mean? 
Support system means that you have everything, your financial situation set up so that if you fall back, you have a not, you have people that you know that can get you hired. Uh, you have uh, you have a good history of being a good employee. Don't get fired for dumb shit. And you're able to get a job anywhere, guys. Okay, you have a clean record. You're good. Um, and if you have a family that can support you in the back, you know, in a bad situation, go for it. Okay, guys. So I have that. So I I have my financial situation set up. I have my I don't have any debt, and I have a great support system. I got family. I know that I don't want to rely on them. I would never rely on my family. But I if push came to shove, they I know my parents are not uh, douchebags, and I'm very grateful for that, guys. Okay. So I appreciate your parents. Stacking skills. The reason I made that decision is for skill stacking. It's a concept that is not new, but it's about stacking skills that are like highly profitable. Like I was saying, sales, copywriting, advertising, and video marketing are the skills that I decided to focus on because in my opinion, anything that get, anything that you can, any service that you can, or, or any service or skill that you can get close to the generating money, that's always going to be valued by any business. So sales generates money. Copywriting generates money. Advertising generates money. Video marketing, get it, it's closer to generating money. Right now with the social media uh, industry, like how everything is set up, video marketing is it's undeniable. Any business needs video marketing. Any business needs advertising. Any business needs copywriting because that ties into advertising and video. And any business needs salespeople, guys. That's for the, you will never be, there will never be a day where sales is not needed, copywriting is not needed, advertising is not needed, and video marketing is, is not needed. So that's why I chose those skills. Highly competitive, but if you make a difference, you pick the industry, you become an expert in the industry, you can do it. So it's important. Two things, the skills that you develop and the actual expertise in that industry, guys. That's important. One industry, multiple skills. That's the way that I think is best. And that's the way I'm sure going. I'm not trying to become the best salesperson ever. I'm trying to be great at sales, copywriting, advertising, video marketing in one single industry, okay? And also, guys, the reason why you should worry about skills, network, and not money is because high it's a very basic formula high income, income skills plus long lasting industry a great industry that's that's proven by that's gone through all recessions and depressions plus a pro- profitable industry equals long term wealth you will always make money in this type of environment okay guys and great people to a network knowledgeable people people that you can provide value for when you're networking, I'm going to make a whole video about networking eventually, how I approach it. Uh, it's very organic. Never force networking. But anyways, I, I don't want to go into networking today. Okay, guys? And it looks like that's it, guys. I, I, I'm going to get better at this. I'm going to pre- make better presentations. But I just wanted to share with you guys what my plan is. I hope you guys are on the same path because I just want to create a community where we help each other you know, get our goals and, and hit our financial success. So I'll be doing more presentation videos once every single day. I'm going to be posting every single day, guys, just because I want I want it bad. I want it just as bad as you guys. So let's make this money. Let's stay focused on the skills, guys. Don't be, be financially responsible and think about your future. Sacrifice today for the pleasure that you will get tomorrow that's what made us evolve into what we are today guys okay let's stay together let's stay strong like the like and subscribe to this video guys and uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel guys i really appreciate you watching again i might be posting every single day without missing pre- presentation videos like this this is the way i like to make videos i don't really like the too super fancy light lighting stuff i like this raw presentation stuff so I'll be uh, getting better. My goal is to document my journey, help you guys relate to this, and also get better at presenting every single day. With repetition, eventually you will get better. Okay, guys? Have a great day. I enjoy your day, and I appreciate you guys watching.